sent to ground. The man in the centre is uh, Richard Kelly from uh, Taranaki in New Zealand. And joining me, Wynne Griffith, in the commentary box here is uh, former New Zealand captain Carl Tanana, the winner, who will play Kenya tomorrow. So that's uh, all to play for, really, considered the, the easier option. Yeah, the man. loser playing New Zealand. You pick your poison there, to be fair, for both sides. Well, this was the man in the moment when uh, Wales and Fiji met in the final here in 2013. Wales were leading 19 to nil, but Colin Nassau came off the bench and scored three tries to seal it by 26 to 19. Well, for me, when the Fijian team haven't been at their maximum during this Hong Kong tournament so far, so there is an opportunity for Wales they can apply sustained pressure. There's signs that they're starting to find their form too. Through to the uh, top eight for the uh, second time this season on the back of uh, the Vancouver tournament. That worries me, there's a Fijian playing with a smile on his face. And that was it, Isaka Katongbao, the uh, Fijian number four, Christian Phillips. He of the dancing feet, held up by two and three burly uh, Fijians just about manages to get the ball away this is Owen Jenkins back inside this looks good Ben Roach to uh, Sam Cross into the Fijian uh, 22 looks to hand off just a very Malua good distribution here from the Welsh team moving the ball into space initially took it up the middle of the park couple of nice short passes and Sammy Cross I thought he should have backed himself just a little bit earlier He's been good, he's been in great form actually, to be fair, the last couple of tournaments. He certainly has back uh, to uh, his best, which would have been 2013-14, uh, I think it was. Keeping a close eye on the uh, Fijian jumper at the line-out. It's back cleanly on the Fijian side, but Timur Ravuvu, the season's top uh, point scorer. A good tackle from uh, Ben Roach. Himself, the captain and the tackling has to be uh, accurate from uh, the Welsh all Fijians need is a, a hint of a gap and here is the danger man no, just one of them Ravubu out wide and back inside that's the familiar figure of Savanatha Ruatha giving chases uh, the Welsh beats uh, Luke Morgan <laughs> the smiling assassin. Ah, this game is played in, in good spirits. Even Luke Morgan can afford a smile. I was completely baffled and fooled. Did all the hard work that Luke Morgan could steal him, couldn't he? The that but he just a little bit of play there. Morgan knows he's done. Well, it's the offloads that are really taken to a feet, you can see there, ball into space. The Welsh players having to go low, so it frees up the arms of the Fijians. You have to stop the offloads, that's the secret against these guys in white. Now when the Fijians are smile, the whole of Fiji smiles with them. And they haven't had too much to smile about of late. And these players, they want to put on a smile on the faces all there. All well, the people on the islands. And ben Ryan called his team the village people this week. People from the villages, these are policemen and uh, prison wardens and various other tradesmen besides. Sam Cross chooses his angle. He's got Ethan Davis on his left shoulder. There he is. Ball went forward though. Good contest earlier. Yeah, well spotted there, Carl, in the previous play. Just a very Malua guilty party. The thing that stands out for me, when is that the Welsh team are aiming up physically against the Fijians. That's what you have to do. You can't let them overall. You have to bully the bullies sometimes. There it is there. And that is the... Uh, Late tackle on uh, Owen Jenkins. Uh, Jasavar Mulua, just a ticking off this time. 
There's a young man that's uh, made an impression this season, the captain, the newly appointed captain, Luke Trahan. Well timed. Throw into the lineout. Lovely pass into midfield, opens up a gap before Ethan Davis. Away he goes. Uh, the tall, lanky figure, though, of the Savanatha Ruatha cuts that pass out. Just as uh, Wales uh, looked as if they were going to score. Deliberate knock on, says referee Kelly. And the Fijians don't need a second invitation, and certainly not Semi Kunitani recalled into the squad. And here they come again, the Temu Ravuvu. It was his burst downfield in the final of last year that uh, sealed the victory against New Zealand in the final. Well, this is a cruel blow for the Welsh team. It deserved a try, a nice set piece from the line out. I think if he gives it short, it's a try all day long. Ethan Davis gives it, or tries to pop it over the top to his wing. It was nice defence by the Watha. And in the end, again, they score from deep within their own half. Here it is here, Semi Kunatani, back from France with this tournament. Bit of steps, but he holds on to the board. Again, the offloads is so tough to defend. That injection of pace from uh, the Timur Ravuvu, taking him away from the uh, Welsh defence. Injured in Las Vegas, Mr. Vancouver. Hit down. Kick is missed. 247 points this series, closely followed by Nathan Hirayama of Canada. Into the last minute, and all the uh, opening seven minutes, and it's all Fiji at the moment. Masibesi Taku Wanga and Rabubu that's through once again. The number 12. The mistake was starting to stack up here for the Welsh team. He gets a double within a minute, does Ruvobo. But it comes from the kickoff, Vere Malua getting up nice and high, batters it back because of his momentum. And Volvo, the Fijians love that little flick away with their fin and a nice little pop pass too. Jerry Two was the one that gave it. Here's the receiver. Well, the Welsh at times must think of a turn, the 12 Fijians on the field. Such is the sleight of hand, and there's always a, a player in support. Fiji out to 17 points without response. And the secret is when you've got to take the ball player down to deck and not let him stand and deliver these passes or offload. So Ravu gets to restart. Can Wheels get a score before referee Kelly blows his whistle? Jenkins back into cross lookout. Good work though by the number 10. Davis once again. This is Ben Roach taking on the last Fijian defender. Can't quite get that pass back inside. Ball well, didn't go forward, but there's a, an infringement by a Fijian player. So this is a chance here for Wales to get points on the board. They look likely, the Welsh team, they get it into the midfield where Davies is causing a lot of havoc. There's a promising youngster, is, uh, Ethan Davis. He listed his boots for the uh, Talawine club many years ago, for the 31st time. There he is. Flashy boots these days, Christian Phillips. The flash and dash from Christian Phillips, and Wales are on the score sheet. Well, they deserve this, no doubt about that. They've been down here a number of occasions. Finally, they're able to take full toll. Got some great field position. Some back-to-back -back position as well. well. There's some serious pace in the Welsh uh, back division these days. Jordan Williams and uh, Chris Knight, who sadly is injured. And Jordan Williams. Effort, but the breeze has carried that uh, to the right of the uh, near upright. So Wales, two points on the board. It's trail Fiji by 17. Area. They move here for a final voice this load the area. One change up so fast. Ben Ryan, well, he was actually lost for words uh, 12 months ago when uh, he won his first Hong Kong title, having tried uh, a few times with England. 
first ever Hong Kong win. And a very popular win it was to uh, back on the islands. And when Fiji clinched the championship, it uh, took some 10 hours uh, to travel from the airport to, to the to the base of journey, which usually takes about two. So Fiji with the breeze behind them in this uh, second period and a 12 point advantage. <laughs> 17 to 5, that's uh, Fiji's lead going into the second half. Palmed down by uh, Christian Phillips, Trehan to Roach. Looks for Luke Morgan. Well wrapped up in the tackle. Davis to uh, Trehan to Phillips in midfield. Got support from uh, Sam Cross, just about manages to gather now then. Let's see what Owen Jenkins has to offer here. Caught by his shirt tails by uh, Semi Kunatani. And well support to very slow in arriving. And uh, Fiji takes full advantage. Rawatha. Sidestepping Savanatha Ruatha, the long striding, gliding Apisa Domi Lailai. He'll go in at the corner, reaches out the first score of the second half. Well, unfortunately for Wales, because they're one man short of creating them. Nice try for them. They took it to deck, they had a quick clean and support player there, but. They didn't have a half back. Fiji pounce was you'll see a clean sound and just put it through the hands. Yep. Just the power of Domalolo showing there gets over. Good counter from uh, Fiji. And as Ryan says, it's all about looking for edges and moving defenders around and uh, doing what the opposition least expect them to do. Conversion is missed. And Fiji have a firm hold on this final pool D clash. 22 to 5. The lead. The ball dropping the ball just beyond the 10 meter line. Again, Sam Cross instrumental in securing possession for Wales. Jenkins going up a blind alley. Ethan Davis. Christian Phillips to get forward traction, perhaps. Jenkins once again caught by Savanatha Ruatha. Good counter rocking here by uh, Fiji. And Wales penalised. Pressure mounting once again. Aminoni Nasila Sila. Tackled by uh, Christian Phillips. Cross gets a foot to it, but the ball was uh, knocked forward by uh, a Welsh player. <laughs> Here he goes again, Savanatha Rawatha. <laughs> so easy for the big man. Well, it's just so instinctive, aren't they? They know each other's play. Look at this pick up off the deck. Look at this, just flicks it up. Does Bede Malua to a wrapping Rawatha. I like this guy because it's all about power. Sivanatha Rawatha, not for the first time on the series, because he's caught an outstanding try. He's put the yards in. From in front of the posts, Fiji extend their lead 29 to 5, midway through the uh, second half. It's uh, a strike rate, five tries to one, six visits from Fiji. To the opposition, 22. Fiji won four legs of the uh, series last season. They have uh, two to the name, but this is the one they want to win, naturally. And building up nicely uh, to uh, Rio and the Olympic Games in August. Trehan spotted that there was no sweeper back there for Fiji. Can he keep the ball in play? He can. Uh, just a foot in touch there from... Uh, well, it's unfortunate because it's the right option too by Trehan. If it stays in the middle of the field, he's got to try. Unfortunately, he takes a wicket bounce. He actually keeps that in, but the Fijian player was out as he touched it. It's a good call by the touchy. Substitutions coming on. And that is 
the man who led uh, Wales in their only uh, appearance in the final, and that was here in uh, Hong Kong three years ago. Adam Thomas. Chihan again considers his options, gets support uh, from Lloyd Evans, the replacement wearing eight for Wales, tipped forward by a Fijian hand. Thomas steadies the ship and gets Tom Isaacs in support. Back to uh, Thomas, the two replacements in concert there. Ball lost forward on the Fijian 22, it's advantage to the flying Fijians. And here they come once again, fresh legs on for Fiji also. Down the far side, it goes uh, the number 10, Kitione Talinga. His uh, first appearance at the Hong Kong Sounds. I see how Colin is how much more experienced and uh, has tasted the victory here before. The offload, a lovely offload to Pia Tuai. A uh, simple walk in for the giant to Pia Tuai, the affable Pia Tuai. Certainly the best player for Fiji last season. Just look at this interplay here. This is Daku Wanga passing the ball out, realizing they had a big line out to his captain on the red. Beautiful pass. Again, the no look. Ball into space. It's been something that really has been a feature of their play on the series. Well, that'll take a good uh, team to beat uh, Fiji here on uh, almost home ground. Nice kick from the touchline into the final minute. Fiji are out to 36 points against uh, Wales at five. So it looks like in the wash up of it, the quarter final is going to be Fiji versus Kenya. I'm looking forward to that. The Kenyans defended stoutly every single game they had in pool play. Exciting matchup, that one. And if the Kenyans can get in under the Fijian skin, well, you never know. As they're quite capable of doing. That's advantage Wales this time. Two knock-ons. I suppose the imposing thing is for me, winners the Fijians are up to 36 to 5 and they haven't even hit third gear for mine. The evening shadows closing over the uh, Sokopo Stadium. And as we look ahead to the uh, quarterfinals of the uh, qualifying tournaments to come. So there goes the Huta. <laughs> Still smiles uh, all round. We are able to say, "Come, come!" You're at 36 to five, champ. <laughs> Let me in. Let me at him. Crowd pleases from one to twelve. Swept away by uh, Trahan to Ethan Davis to Luke Morgan. Let's see his pace. Cutting back inside, he's still going up to the 22. The support is there from Lloyd Evans. Out into the wide open spaces, Tom Isaacs well and truly tackled by uh, Pio Tuai. The thing for me, when I think the Welsh team have actually exposed Fiji, they haven't had the polish in this game to finish off their chances, but they definitely had their opportunities. So one final chance. Thomas. And Finn Davis finds uh, his path blocked on the uh, wide outside. A high tackle on him, Isaacs. Away he goes. Can he get there himself? Cuts back inside. Well, he did have Luke Morgan on his shoulder. So Wales have to dig it out here to look for a consolation score. Off his right foot, Adam Thomas spots the try line. Morgan, yeah, had to be, didn't it? it There's always going to be that uh, little feign from Luke Morgan. So Wales finish with a flourish here. And they will look forward to tomorrow and a place in the Cup quarterfinals where they will meet uh, the might of New Zealand. But New Zealand are down to 10 men already, and uh, you never know. But Fiji march on where they will face Kenya. And let's congratulate them on a job well done here against uh, the Welsh and wish them well for tomorrow's games. So it's finished here in the last uh, pool D clash. 
And uh, 36 points for Fiji with a conversion to come to Wales. And their tally will remain at uh, 10 points. Handshakes all round and an early night for all concerned. Full time then, Fiji 36, Wales.